Today we're taking a deep dive into the all-new Gosney Arc XL pizza oven. It's a 16-inch oven that competes with the Unikaru 16 and the Gosney Dome. And in this video, we're going to cover how big of a pizza you can actually fit inside, how long it takes for the oven to come back to temperature between pizzas, whether the stone comes out of this oven for cleaning, and a whole bunch more. So if you like making pizza at home, we've got the answers to your questions about the Arc XL. I'm David Gafford, and I help people gain confidence and competence in their outdoor cooking. And the first way I do that is by helping you make the right choice for you when it comes to the gear you purchase. We've been testing the Gosney Arc XL for a couple of weeks now, and I can tell you right away that this pizza oven is not for everyone. Now we know that price can be a limiting factor, so let's begin with what's included and how much it's going to cost you to get started with this pizza oven. The Gosney Arc XL is a 16 inch oven that costs $799 and does not include any accessories like the stand or peel with your purchase. Now the Arc is also available in a standard 14 inch size for $100 less. But pricing is always changing, so be sure to check the links in the description to see the current prices. Now, if the Gosney Arc is out of your price range, but you're still on the hunt for a good pizza oven, we've already tested seven other 16 inch pizza ovens head to head, and we'll link that in the card up here, as well as the description below if the Arc is too big of a stretch in your budget. But let's talk about the build quality of the Arc, and then we'll get into some of our test cooks. Right up front, I love the build quality of this pizza oven. The lateral gas burner couldn't be any easier to adjust with the temperature control right at the front of the oven. There are loads of other pizza ovens where the flame control is at the back of the oven, and it's just a pain to have to walk around the oven multiple times per pizza to control the flame. Now the Arc solves this with the flame control right on the front panel. The flame is mesmerizing to watch, but the propane flame brings incredible consistency to each cook. The Arc has a double layer of insulation, as well as a 20 millimeter thick pizza stone, and these both help the oven stay hotter longer. The opening on the front of the oven is 16.8 inches wide and 3.8 inches high. Now in just a second, I'm going to tell you how long it takes for the Gosney Arc XL to fully preheat, but I want to pass a question off to you. The Gosney Arc is a propane gas only pizza oven. Tell me in the comments below if you can taste the difference between pizza cooked in a gas oven versus a wood-fired oven. I'll tell you my opinion here in a minute, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this debate. Can you taste the difference? Tell us how in a comment. Now to fire up the Gosney Arc, we first have to hook up the propane tank. We have our Arc XL sitting on the cart from Gosney, which is an extra expense, and we have the link for this down in the description below if you want to check it out. But I really like how it has a shelf specifically to hold the propane tank, as well as two folding side shelves. Once the gas is turned on, it's a simple turn and click of the knob to ignite the burner, and we officially start the preheating stopwatch. The Gosney Arc includes a beautiful digital thermometer, and in my experience with pizza ovens, the thermometers are not typically that helpful. It all depends on where the temperature is being measured, and is it measuring stone temperature, air temperature? We'll put it to the test and find out in just a minute how accurate this Gosney thermometer really is. Now, by the way, if you're getting value out of this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want more videos just like this. We're cooking Neapolitan style pizzas first, so we're looking to heat the pizza stone up to a target temperature of about 800 degrees Fahrenheit. According to our Thermalworks infrared thermometer, our Arc XL reached a stone temperature of 800 degrees in 30 minutes, while the actual Arc thermometer read a little under 700 degrees. Now, to be fair, depending on where we were measuring the stone, we were getting anywhere from 627 degrees to 903 degrees. So internal pizza oven temperatures can really fluctuate a lot depending on the proximity to the flame. Now we'll be showing you some different styles of pizza here in a minute, but Neapolitan pizza is the style that most backyard pizza makers begin with. So we tested eight Neapolitan pizzas in the Gosney Arc to see how it handled that style. We made this dough at 64% hydration and a 72 hour cold ferment, and then froze it in our deep freeze until we were ready to use it. So we're working with frozen dough for this cook. Now comment down below if you'd like to see more videos on dough making and planning, and we'll work that into the schedule if there's enough interest. The dough balls were 280 grams a piece, and they stretched out to make 12 inch pizzas. 
These are going to be margarita style, so just sauce, fresh basil, fresh mozzarella, a little olive oil drizzle, and some shredded Parmesan for toppings. We launched the pizzas into the oven and turned the flame down to medium. We found this strategy gave us great browning around the crust while still allowing the bottom of the pizza to get some nice color and rigidity. I rotated the pizza about four to five times during the cook and found that the side that was closest to the flame got the best browning as we expected. Total cook time was one minute and 30 seconds for our pizzas and I was very happy with how these pizzas cooked. I think we got a nice even cook from top to bottom. We measured the stone temperature before we launched each pizza and we were over 800 degrees every time before we launched. We found the stone temperature after the pizza was finished to be in the 725 degree range for a loss of about 75 degrees over a 90 second cook. Now in the time that it took me to stretch, top and launch the next pizza, the stone was above 800 degrees every time, meaning that the recovery time for us with Neapolitan pizzas was less than two minutes. If you had pizzas ready to launch back to back, I wouldn't hesitate to launch them after just a 30 to 45 second recovery time based on the performance we saw in our testing. Since we spent a few years living in Detroit when we were first married, we fell in love with the Detroit style pan pizza and we make it often at home. We made a couple of Detroit style pies in our nine by 13 Lloyd pan and we learned that the Gosney Arc XL can make a mean Detroit style pie. We started with the oven set to 500 degrees at the stone with the burner as low as it would go. We did four minutes on the first side, rotated it to do another four minutes on the other side, and then positioned it sideways for two minutes on each side. This is where we went wrong for the first pizza. The sideways orientation put the pizza too close to the intense heat of the flame, resulting in some burning on top. We cold fermented the second half of the dough for 24 hours and tried it again, this time cooking it at five minutes on each side with the pan all the way to the right of the oven, and we got much better results. We find that our pizza ovens are a weeknight staple here at the house since it's possible to cook more than just pizza on this style of cooker. Now, one of our favorites is New York strip steak, and we use the grill grate setup for pizza ovens. It's a hard anodized aluminum grill grate inside a square Lloyd pizza pan, and we preheated it in the oven to a surface temperature of about 750 degrees. We placed the steak on the grates at a bias and then put it in the oven with the flame at a medium high for 90 seconds. Then we pulled it out, rotated it on the bias, and then put it back in for another 90 seconds. At that point, we flipped the steak over and returned it to the oven until our meter two wireless thermometer reached 110 degrees internal and we pulled the steak out to rest. Now, I knew that with the intense heat of the pizza oven, the carryover temperature would pull this steak up to 130 degrees without any trouble. We got gorgeous browning on the outside of the steak with a perfect medium rare center on the inside. It was delicious. And if you want to check out any products that I've mentioned, there are links in the description below. Pricing is always changing, but to see the current pricing, just click the link in the description and you'll know exactly what it is right now. Next, we wanted to see what it would be like to cook a larger 16 inch pizza. So we ordered a pizza screen from Amazon and whipped up a batch of Melissa's family's pizza dough. Now they've been making this pizza dough every Friday night for her whole life. So, you know, a maximum of 29 years worth of pizza making here. Unfortunately, the pizza screen didn't arrive in time. So we had to resort to our old pizza pan. And as you can imagine, that meant the top and the sides of the pizza cooked beautifully but the crust didn't get enough contact with the heat from the stone and the center of the pizza was undercooked. Now, eventually, once the crust was a little bit more firm, we transferred the pizza to the biggest pizza peel that we have here and were able to slide it directly onto the stone to finish cooking the crust. So not a complete disaster, but also not our most successful pizza cook. But what did we learn here? Well, a few things. But most importantly, we learned that you can cook a really big pizza in this pizza oven as long as you have the right size peel or a pizza screen, but not a pizza pan. That was no bueno. Zero out of 10, do not recommend. After all of this testing, let's talk about some of the things that stood out to me on this oven. First, most ovens either have a smokestack that vents the exhaust above the oven, or they just let the smoke roll out the front of the door. Now the Arc XL takes a different approach in putting a vent in the top of the oven just before the door. 
It makes sure that the smoke isn't hitting you directly in the face as you watch your pizza cook. Now the digital thermometer is one of the nicer ones that we've seen and it has an auto shut off feature to save battery life. I love that it saves battery life, but sometimes I also wish that it stayed on longer. Now the optional stand is just flat out great. I love having the Kamado style fold down shelves for extra space. I also found myself using the flame control knob all the time turning the fire up to high in between pizzas and down to medium when the pizza was in was easy with the control just right there. I confirmed that the Arc XL will do a 16 inch pizza, but the 12 inch and 14 inch pizzas are really comfortable when you're turning them during a cook. I was pleasantly surprised that I could use my taller Lloyd Detroit style pan and fit a 16 inch pizza without any height or width trouble. Now this is also the first Gosney oven that we've tested where the stone will come out to clean and I'm a fan. So hey, I asked you earlier to let me know if you thought you could taste the difference between wood fired and gas fired pizza and here's my thought. I've tried hundreds of pizzas cooked on wood and on gas ovens and when I think I can tell the difference, I'm usually wrong. Pies cooked with gas usually have a more finished bottom crust due to the consistent flame and the short recovery time. My opinion is that you don't get wood-fired flavor at 1000 degree temperatures and you just can't taste the wood. So am I wrong? Let me know down in the comments. If you've had your heart set on a wood-burning pizza oven, I really don't think you can go wrong with the Gosney Arc in spite of its wood-burning deficiency. However, if you're new to cooking pizzas outdoors and you think you might want to start out with a smaller, more affordable oven first, you might want to check out our video on the best 12 inch pizza ovens, which includes the Gosney Rock Box. We'll link to that video in the card up above as well as in the description below. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Smash like if you got value and we'll see you next time.